Welcome to our channel. Today's story is The Seven Rules Eddie Never Forgets. Eddie, the emu, was eager to explore. He was curious. He wanted to poke his beak into everything. Yet his mom has so many rules about exploring his bushy homeland. Never talk to or go with strangers. Number two, keep an eye open for danger. Number three, never go into a stranger's house or eat their fruit. Number four, always knock before entering a friend's house. Number five, after knocking, always wait to be invited inside. Number six, always tell mom before I leave home. One day, his mom said, Eddie, you are now smart enough to go exploring on your own, just for a little while, mind. Thanks, mom. He ran off, excitement making his feathers fluff up like crazy. Remember the rules, Eddie, called mom. But Eddie's long legs had already taken him out of air shoot. It was fun discovering new places and seeing where the other Ushi outback animals lived. Eddie soon forgot every one of his mom's boring old shoes. He stuck his hat into an old tree stump, the home of a grumpy gecko. You disturbing my nap, you rude brat, yelled the gecko, go away. Eddie hurried away. He soon came upon the park ranger's house. The front door was open. Eddie walked inside, his mom's rule completely forgotten. Maybe there's something to eat in here, he said to himself. A big bowl of fresh fruit sat in the middle of the kitchen table. Yum! I love fruits. Eddie stretched out his neck, beak open, ready to grab a piece. Instead, he knocked the bowl off the table. It crashed to the floor. Fruit rolled and bounced in every direction. Eddie managed to gobble a couple of juicy pieces before a loud scared him rigid. Jumping grasshopper, he muttered, It's the park ranger. I'm in big trouble. You sure are, you thieving critter, roared the ranger, first raised and ready to strike. Eddie then noticed another emu behind the ranger. Fearful and guilty, he headed out the door. His long legs churned up the red outback soil as he galloped away. I didn't eat all the fruit he painted. I left most of it for the ranger and that other immune. But then he saw the ranger staring at him. He looked so angry. This made him run even faster. Tired and thirsty, Eddie finally stopped. Luckily, there was a water hole there in the shade of the gum trees. Eddie closed his eyes and drank. Delicious, I needed that. He opened his eyes and gaps. A scary looking emu was looking him right in the eye. Oh no, yelled Eddie and he ran as fast as his long skinny legs would go. Faster and faster, almost running into sleigh and disagreeable Mr. Dingo. Now way Mr. Dingo, Eddie backed away. I am too small and skinny for you, but a plum and much larger emu is chasing me. Please wait for him, juicy and thunder, a far tastier dinner. Eddie turned away. He was already running at top speed when he shouted, 
the last few words. He finally slow when he spotted his mother painting hard. He could barely speak. Mom, what's the matter, Eddie? Why are you running? His mother asked. Eddie told her about sticking his head in the gecko home. He told her about going into the park ranger house and being chased away by the scary look Amu. Finally about the Amu at the water hole and how he had convinced Mr. Dingo to wait for his dinner. Eddie's mother surprised him by laughing. Mom, why are you laughing? said Eddie. Oh thought he deserved a hug rather than being laughed at. Come with me, his mother said. He followed her to a small water hole. Look into the water, Eddie. He peeked into the water, run, yelled Eddie. Can't you see him mom? He's right in front of us. Oh Eddie, that's you. She chuckled. You are seeing your reflection. What a reflection, he asked. A reflection is when you see yourself looking back at you, said his mother. But mom, what about the ranger's house? There was no water hole in there. I agree, no water hole, but there are mirrors in houses and I am sure you saw yourself in the mirror. You never warned me about mirrors, Eddie scrambled. It was not have mattered, his mom sighed. You forgot all my advice the moment you left home. Eddie hung his head. I did, didn't I? Sorry, mom. Next time, I promise, I will remember every safety rule you tell me. And he chanted, never talk to or go with strangers. Keep an eye open for stranger. Never go into a stranger house and eat their food. Always knock before entering a friend's house. After knocking, always wait to be invited inside. Always tell mom before I leave home. And never be fooled by a mirror or water hole reflection. I guess learning from my mistakes makes me smart, young Amu. Eddie grinned while his mom beamed with pride. Meanwhile, Mr. Dingo patiently waited for his plump and scary looking Amu dinner to show up. I hope you like my story. Kindly like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for more stories.